Okay, so here's the problem. Every single week, I have to update my list of the calls that I want to make, um, that I want to give my sales guy. And as a result of that, the problem is, is that I have to keep importing these lists. Now, I, I mentioned previously that I'm working on an all-in-one system that can handle this uh, problem. But in the meantime, you know, business has to move forward. You got to make sales calls. So I'm juggling Excel in order to kind of make this work. However, it's not the ideal. So I've been struggling because I keep forgetting. So this is one of those videos where I'm actually doing it for myself to remind me in the future and how to do this. But I'm also putting it out there just in case anybody has a problem or needs a help, right? So every single week, we import lists into this tool here as an Excel spreadsheet. Um, those li that list is coming from the email marketing. And I'm going to do a whole video about this and how I do the entire process from end to end. I'm going to put it on my main channel, but I'm just this is just really the raw sort of like process that I have to uh, update videos. So the, de the details are coming from this. So really true. So I've made a bunch of calls to the people that opened my email, right? Um, what I'm trying to do now is I'm going to make calls to people that have not opened my email. So it's like we sent a bunch of emails out. Nobody have necessarily opened their email. So I'm going to do a bunch of calls to this. And the problem is I won't show you my actual live data just for privacy purposes of people. Not that it's really, it's all public information for the most part, but I'm going to use a sample list just to kind of highlight the point. The problem is, is that I've already imported half of the list. Sorry, I have the full master list, which has like 200 plus contacts in it. And I, I'm just trying to take... I'm trying to segment it, right? So I have a full 250, let's say, and let's say, let's say a hundred of those people have already called and I need, and then there's another hundred that have not opened the email, but they're kind of all mixed together. So I need to extract only the people that I have not called. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So the, the idea is very simple. So let's say I have, um, I found a sample data just to kind of use it to demonstrate the purpose, just because I don't want to, I don't want to. It's just not fair to me to publicly show all that contacts, right? So for for privacy purposes. So anyway, so so here, so let's just pretend that this is the list, and this could be a list of email addresses. In fact, I'm going to change this to email addresses. Okay. So I've got a bunch of lists of email because that's the criteria that I'm using to to filter out whether I've emailed them or not. Okay, because a polo, apparently what happens with a polo is that when you do an export, it doesn't export all the phone numbers and all the type of stuff. It's really annoying. I put my contacts in a polo. A polo is only giving me back just the email addresses and stuff. And obviously they're storing that data and they're using it, which is not really fair, but that's a different conversation. So the point is, what I want is um, I got a bunch of different types of let's say email addresses, we'll pretend for a sec. And the only email addresses that I want is I want retail, I want apartment, and I want other. That's it. Those are the email addresses I want because, right, let's do a new sheet here. So I got a new sheet and those were, those were the emails or in this particular case, email apartment that I actually sent out. So what I want to do is I want to filter this list here by only the people that have just those three criteria. Um, and I keep forgetting how to do this, so this is the reason why I'm doing this video. Yeah, so basically, let me just make sure. So what you, the first thing you have to do is make sure that the email address at the top, I'm uh, sorry, the title at the top is correct. Let me just put this over here. So the title is the same, right? So the main title is the same, right? So email address is the main, is the title, okay? So that's first things first. And then secondly, you have to go to data, and you gotta go to advance again, because basically what I'm saying is I only want to show just the data that's in these columns or email addresses. So I go to advance. You choose the entire so the list criteria is like what is the list that I'm working on that I want to manipulate. So in this particular case, I didn't do the right thing, so I need to highlight this entire these columns here, All right? So if I notice what I did is I went up here and I, I got on that turn into an arrow, not the full, like it turned into an arrow. So it'll highlight the entire data, right? So that's the list that I want to manipulate or at least shrink down to the, to only see the list that I want. And then it's like, what is the criteria? And the criteria is what is the list that I'm using to filter out the not in, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go across here and I'm going to say, this is the list here. This is the list here, right? So that's my criteria. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to copy to another location and then 
or no, you know what, I'll do filter in place. So if I do filter in place and I click, okay, this link should shrink down to only show me retail, apartment and other, I forgot what was it. There, right? So there, so you know, this is the list got much shorter because right now it's only showing me what's retail, apartment and other. So apparently I don't have a lot of others, but I have a lot of there, right? So I just shrank the list down. I should have, I should have think. So that's basically, that's basically it. And obviously from here, I can make it more unique, but that's all that it is. So, um, and if I remove, I guess if I remove other, uh, let's go, let's remove apartment because apparently there's a lot of apartments, a lot of duplicates in here. So let's just sort retail and other. So the list could be significantly shorter, right? So I could come back in here again and I click on this to say, give me this. I, I want to filter this entire list. And what I want to do is I want to filter it based on data that I have from this. That's basically what I'm saying, right? And if obviously if this list was longer, I could click at the top here and see like the whole list, but the list is short, so I'm just highlighting it. The main point is that the header must match up so that it knows compare email against email column. And then, um, and then filter in place. So if I come back in over here now, oops, no, I need to just double check that. I need to do this again, sorry. Here, then click on that, and then filter in place, click OK. Oh, geez, I messed up the, sorry, I, I, because I pressed multiple times. So it's, it's just, it's just this. No, oh, actually, let me do that over again. So, because I think I messed up the default. So it's this guy, right? This is the list that I would like to edit, filter on. This is the criteria. Okay, I only want to show retail and others, and I would like to filter in place. Okay, bam. See what it did? It shortened the list. So now it's only showing me retail and other. Now I could just copy that. I could put it on a new sheet, right? Uh, yeah, that worked, right? It didn't. It didn't copy the. Um, I didn't copy the. The. I didn't copy the the header, but it did because it copied the, everything and. Um, See there, right? So I can copy the new sheet. Then I could do file, you know, save as CSV and export obviously that specific sheet as the uh, as a CSV file. So that's basically it. That's all I wanted to just do, just to show quickly how to do a um, an Excel export. I'm probably going to make this video shorter, but that's just wanted to do that because I'm going to forget again. Thanks.